we are doing Henry's Hope, written by Margaret LaPera. Do you want some? No. Thanks. Taking a break from playing? Waiting for the bus. Going home? Going for a spring lesson. Oh, that'll be fun. I don't like the water. My stepdad makes me go. Oh. Okay. Um, I swim a little. Really? Yeah, I used to teach too, but um, not anymore. Why not? I just don't. But I really liked it. You get into this rhythm and, and it feels good. You'll see. I don't like the water. Did you know that our body's mostly water? And this orange. <laughs> they told me my mother was a swimmer. Who did? My stepmom and stepdad. Oh. I was adopted. Oh. My stepmom died. I'm sorry. Come on. What's your name? Henry. Hi, Henry. That's a good, sturdy name. I'm Joanna. I don't like it. You don't like what? My name. Why? It doesn't feel like me. You wish you had a different name? My real name. This is the one they gave me. Your adoptive parents? Oh. Um... um. Henry, why does your stepfather want you to take swimming lessons? There's this boy at school. He doesn't like me. He picks on me. Swimming is supposed to make me feel better. Braver. Oh. He said that? The school nurse did. We got into a fight in math. Oh, I see. Well, with water, you... You get into this, this rhythm. You feel the motion of your movement. The water lapping around you, you feel like you're part of something bigger. I'll show you. Hey. See? Do you feel that nice flow? Energy is growing inside of you, and the motion of your movement and the water open you up to what's around you. You feel alive. I get it. It's always better with water. Yeah. Why'd you stop swimming? Um, well, something happened when I was younger and I, and I was forced to give up something that I loved. Everything just kind of stopped then. And, you know, actually kind of like our uh, swimming experiment. <laughs> I don't want to like swimming. But why? Because my mother was a swimmer. Because she loved you? Well... I'm sure she loved other things, too, like um, movies and, and puppies, parks. What about them? I get what you mean. Chances are she loved you very much. So enjoy your class today. You don't want to miss out on anything fun. Okay. The bus should be here soon. Is your class every Saturday? Yeah. Well, maybe we'll meet up again. You can tell me how it's going. Okay. What did you give up when you stopped swimming? It's complicated. Your turn. Um. All right. Uh. Well, when I was younger, my parents had big plans for me. Big <laughs> dreams. Wish my stepdad did. You don't think that he does? He doesn't really see me. Henry, what do you wish for? To find my real parents. Well, have you talked to him about it? He says when I'm 18, I can if I want. Oh, well, that doesn't sound very fair, now does it? Do you know anything about your parents? Only she was a swimmer. I don't know about my real father. 
How did you know that she swam? They said she was training for the Olympics. What? That's why she gave me up. That's why I want to stop swimming. Who told you that? They did. Henry, how old are you? Nine. When's your birthday? May 12th. Um, do you know where your parents adopted you from? From these nuns in Oakdale. Why'd you stop swimming? Um, when I was younger, um, I was forced to give up something that I loved deeply. My parents made the decision for me, and after that, I didn't have the heart to keep swimming. What did you give up? My son. Your son? My son. I got pregnant and I was too young to keep him. How could you do that? I, I didn't think I had the choice. Pete? But, so? Well, um, I was 16 when I had him and I'm 25 now. But the odd coincidence is his birthday is May 12th. Same as me? Yes. What? My parents insisted that I couldn't keep him. Why? Because I was training for the Olympics. You're making that up! No, 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 I'm not, I promise. I, I don't promise. believe you! No, I know this seems impossible, you ridiculous don't wait for even. Me. No, Henry, please listen to me. No! I know that I can't explain this, but I was a national finalist when Stop. I was 15. There was this boy, and, and my parents insisted that I couldn't keep you. But I know because. No! Listen, I know because my wait. parents left you with the Sisters of Mercy in Oakdale. I don't think we met by accident. I was sitting there thinking about my son, and you walked right to me. No, go away. I, I can prove it. I can prove it. Come here. How can you? You told me that your name Henry doesn't feel real to you. That your adoptive parents gave you that name, right? Okay. Don't tell me. But Henry, do you, do you remember the name that's on your birth certificate? I named you Michael. That's my name. That's my name. I know. I know, sweetheart. I know. How did you know? Because it's true. It's true. <laughs> and there's another thing, too. <laughs> you had the strawberry mark on your cheek that they removed. <laughs> it was right there. Here. I'm your mom. Wow. <laughs> Can you believe it? I still can't believe it. I know what you mean. But I can believe it too. I knew that when you sat down next to me, I knew that there was something about you, and now I know why. Something brought you to me. You wanted us together. I'm sure of it. Yes, I'm not going swimming today. You know, I'll teach you. I was always meant to. Is your stepdad home? Mm hmm. Maybe it's time for me to meet him. I want to meet my grandparents too. All right, just give them a break, okay? They thought they were doing right by me. Even though they weren't. Right. They get along great with my stepdad. <laughs> Think they'll like me? How could they not? They'll be lucky to know you. Just how I feel. Michael? Mom? 